Pediatric ER visits across Virginia are climbing due to the amount of kids ingesting cannabis products. Experts believe part of the reason that more kids are getting a hold of the project products is that they look like candy. As 10 on your sides, Amy Avery tells us agencies in the Commonwealth are working to find new ways to bring these numbers down. Amy? Well, Tom and Lena, from gummies to bags of chips, these products laced with THC look incredibly real. So real that your child may not even realize how dangerous they really are. If it's a gummy, a piece of candy, if it's uh, something that, that a child would be normally attracted to, that's a major problem. Numbers from Virginia Poison Control show they were called 467 times last year for THC exposure cases, and more than 100 of those were for kids under the age of 5 ingesting edibles. But these numbers don't even compare to the number of kids who just walked into the ER this year. That number topped 1,200 in the first half of 2023. Poison Center Director Dr. Ruddy Rose says if you do have these in your home, it's important to keep them out of sight and locked away. So children, you know, grow rapidly and, and a lot of them have, you know, this hand to mouth activity and they want to put things in their mouth and we want to make sure they don't have easy access to things they put in their mouth can be very harmful. Nationally, more than 100,000 poisoning deaths occur each year, and 80 to 90 percent are due to the opioid epidemic. Dr. Rose says more and more children are getting into things they aren't supposed to, and it's not just cannabis. Many are ingesting street drugs like opioids and fentanyl, too. Certainly, I think hospitalizations and, and more serious outcomes are up. Um, and I think cannabis is one reason for that. Quarter three numbers from VHHA show a decrease in hospitalizations. 484 kids went to the hospital compared to 501 in the same quarter the previous year. These numbers also follow new legislation that went into effect on July 1st, limiting the amount of THC in any package to two milligrams. Acting head of the Cannabis Control Authority, Jeremy Priest, says they were asked by lawmakers last session to look into what other states are doing to ensure these products are being regulated and helping to advance public health. And whether any of those approaches in other states might benefit Virginia. Priest says two of their recommendations this year are focused on minors, including putting them behind the counter and making sure the consumer can provide an ID that says they're over 21. You know, that's what we do for cigarettes. That's what we do uh, for other types of products that we don't think minors should have access to. Another proposal for lawmakers to consider is cracking down on online sales. Right now, under Virginia law, the person selling the product only has to verify your age if it's a smokable product. We propose that that change, that, you know, the same verification procedures required of consumers of smokable hemp products be extended to all consumable hemp products. As the legalization uh, changes and more of these products um, become uh, legitimate in terms of the legal standpoint, then we're going to see more exposures. Both the Cannabis Control Authority and Poison Control say education is one way to bring these numbers down and to help keep them down. They hope parents understand how toxic these products can be, especially to young kids. You know, as long as there's a desire for these products, uh, there'll be a market for them. Now, it's important to note the Cannabis Control Authority does not make laws. They just make recommendations to the General Assembly. And Dr. Rose also encourages parents to not treat medicine like candy when giving it to your child. You can read more about that right now on wavy.com. Amy Avery, 10 on your side.